In this video I'm going to be doing some astrophotography testing with the Nikon Z52 and the Viltrox AF 16mm f1.8 lens. Now how does this combo actually go when it comes to shooting astrophotography? Let's find out. Well, what an absolutely beautiful day. Perfect blue sky, it's 24 degrees Celsius and it is perfect for astrophotography. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, first of all, my apologies. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see this video. You wanted me to get out and do some astrophotography with the Z52 and I've finally been able to do it. Now, I've got a few little issues with tonight's shoot. Firstly, I'm still about four or five nights away from the new moon i try to shoot on that new moon but yeah four or five nights away now the reason i've got to go for it tonight is because we're expecting rain for the next week or two here so got to get out and make the most of it second little tiny issue i've got in this location is out in the horizon here and i'll show you some b-roll there are some large cargo ships now at night they have their lights on and i mean it can actually add to the compositions that you take, but sometimes it doesn't. I'll try to work it in with my compositions tonight and see how I go. On the Z52, I'm gonna be using the Viltrox AF 16mm f1.8 lens. I actually have done some astrophotography with this lens on my Nikon Z7 before. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it at the end of this one you can check out. So this is a full frame lens, but on the Z52, I get a full frame equivalent of about 24 millimeters. So that's still pretty good for astrophotography. It's still a wide enough focal length. So now I'm at this absolutely stunning location by the beach. I'm going to make my way along this coastline and I'm going to look for different compositions. I'm going to pull out my phone and use my Photo Pills app. That's right, guys, don't ask me in the comments what app we're you using. It's the Photo Pills app. And I very much recommend you get that app for astrophotography. It is brilliant. With that photo pills app, I can ascertain in the augmented reality where that Milky Way is going to be coming up over the horizon and at what time. So that really does help me in getting my compositions right. So yeah, enough of me talking. Let's get to it. Let's go along this coastline. Let's look for different types of frames that we can get with this combo and see how we go. Now this frame right here has got me very excited. I've got this type of an old dead tree and I've got my photo pills app at before and the Milky Way is just coming up right over top of it. Now with this lens, with the Z52, I'm getting a perfect type of composition where I've got the edge of frame just here and the other edge is just over here. So can't wait to get back here tonight. Around about 10 o'clock, that Milky Way should be in position got those ships out there as well so should be interesting can't wait to give it a try so this is pretty cool somebody has built like this bit of a structure just down here on the beach and I'm gonna make my way down there and I'm gonna see where I can see the Milky Way coming up over it because if that structure is there tonight, depending, because the high tide is coming in, if the high tide doesn't mess with that structure, I might be able to use that. I've got an old fishing lamp that I might be able to use in conjunction with that composition. So I found this little bit of a location here and it's got some real promise. I've got these like pandanus trees in the foreground as well as some gazanias. Now the problem is with the gazanias, they're gonna be closed up at night time. They already have started closing. But I had my photo pills up here before and I noticed that the Milky Way was just coming straight up over here at about 10 o'clock. So this is definitely one composition I'm gonna be trying with this combo. Well, 
Well, some of those locations that I found along this beach are very exciting and I can't wait to get back here tonight around about 10 o'clock with this combo and start shooting. So what I'm gonna do is head back to my ACOM, have a little bit of food, have a bit of a rest, and then I'm gonna get my gear together and I'll see you back here at about 10 o'clock tonight. Uh-oh, so one little issue I thought I was going to have some trouble with was this ominous looking cloud approaching from the west. But luckily, the photography gods were smiling on me this night and instead of blowing east into my shots, the clouds blew north at the last minute. Whew. So I'm just at this location where I found this afternoon. I've got these two pandanus trees with this um, sand dune and I can see that galactic core is right in between the two of them. So I'm just framing up this shot. Two second of time release. And off we go. I'm just gonna light paint just in the foreground here. Like that, very quickly. And see how this looks. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, great. Gee, that galactic core is right up in the sky now. So, yep, that photo pills app was correct at 10 o'clock or quarter past 10 to be exact. Spot on position. That's why it's so great having that app. You can arrange your compositions before you get out in the dark and you know where everything is. It just makes things go so much more smoothly. Looking into this first shot more closely, I realized how good this Viltrox lens actually is. When you turn on the Z52, the lens automatically goes to infinity focus. Now the cool thing is this infinity focus is quite accurate because I've had other lenses in the past that do that, but they haven't been accurate. Look what happens when I push into these pandanuses here, and this is where the focus mode was bang on. Look how sharp those pandanus trees are. I had focus peaking turned on for this shot and it was showing me the pandanus trees were highlighted in red. Up into the corners, we get nice definition with our stars without hardly any vignetting. And I'd say the reason for this is because of the crop factor on the Z52, giving me that 24 millimeter full frame equivalent. That's that first composition. I've got this red headlamp as well that helps um, down here as well. So hopefully you can see me I'm just gonna move down to where I was a little bit earlier this afternoon with this dead tree. So I'm just back at this dead tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I've got the core just coming up just above these dead branches. And I'm gonna use my headlamp just to paint this foreground here. So let's fire off. So this is looking really good. I love this foreground. And I love the way this tree leads the eye up onto the Milky Way. Fantastic. The next composition worked really nicely. And here's the thing that surprised me about the Z52. And I should have mentioned this earlier. Even though the Z52 is considered an entry level camera, it has the starlight view feature as seen in the much more expensive models like the Z8 and Z9. I've now assigned this mode to a rear button on my Z52 that I can call up at any time. Having this feature is just invaluable when it comes to doing astrophotography because it allows you to compose your shot far more easily in the dark because it enhances your viewfinder or back LCD screen and you can literally see everything including the Milky Way and your foreground. So kudos to Nikon for giving such a low price camera this feature. I'm just going to um, try and see if I can find this bit of a structure, this little teepee structure that I saw this afternoon. Okay, so I've got this structure right here in front of me. This is actually going to work. It just depends if I can get this, um, the core of the Milky Way just to come over the horizon a little bit more. In the foreground, I've got this wooden structure that I found this afternoon. And I've got this little tiny fishing lamp, would you believe, that I used to use ages ago. And I'm going to get in the shot and I'm going to put myself in the uh, left, oh, sorry, on the right hand side of the screen. I'm just going to turn this lamp on. 
you can see me a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna have that on for about five seconds and we'll see how this shot works. So the way I'm gonna do this shot, I'm actually gonna set the timer up on the Z52 to fire off after 20 seconds. I'm gonna get in this structure with this little lamp. I'm gonna to count to 15 and in the last five seconds, I'm gonna put the lamp on. I'm gonna be looking up at the Milky Way. Let's give it a go. Having this little old fishing lamp does help with some of my astro compositions. You can see I've worked those large cargo ships into the composition and it kind of looks like I'm marooned on an island like Robinson Crusoe and I'm waiting for help to arrive. So is this Nikon Z52 and Viltrox 16mm f1.8 combo a good budget alternative for astro? Well, my answer to that is... The fact that you get that starlight view mode in the Z52 is a real bonus for such a low price camera. And the Viltrox 16mm f1.8 lens with its accurate focusing and low light and image quality is again, awesome value for money. And with that lens, it's so good for so many other things like landscape, architecture, real estate, and more. And just a little side note, I'm so glad I went for it on this night to do this astrophotography test because the next night and for the next two weeks, it rained and the cloud blocked out the stars. Well guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this astrophotography test with the Nikon Z52 and the Viltrox AF 16mm f1.8 lens. That bit of pre-planning and everything worked absolutely perfectly this afternoon. I was really happy with those shots. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.